Sometimes in subtraction, what happens is that the number we have to subtract has more units than the number from which we are subtracting. Like if you see the example here, 54 minus 16. We have four units, but we have to take away six units from it. So we have four. Can we take away six from it? It's not possible. It's impossible. That's why what we need to do is we need to borrow. The number in the unit space is going to borrow a 10 from the number which is in the tens place. So this 4 here is going to borrow a 10 from the 5 next to it. So this 10, we have 5 tens. 1 we are going to borrow. So we have 4 now. We have 4 tens left here and 1 we are going to put next to the units over here. So now instead of 4, we have 14. We are adding a 10 more to the 4 we have. The question in the unit side now is 14 minus 6, which we can solve easily. 14 minus 6, answer is 8. We write that over here. And now we solve the tens. We have 4 tens now, not 5, because we already blend 1 here. 4 minus 1 equals 3. 54 minus 16 equals 38. The question is 73 minus 34. Again, this is a question where we have to borrow. We write units and tens on the top and start working on the unit side. Here we have three units, but we have to take away four. That's not possible, so we need to borrow. This seven from here is going to become six. And one ten is going to move to the unit side. Now we have 13 together here, 13 units or 13 here. 13 take away 4. We know 13 minus 4, you can count back. 12, 11, 10, 9. Answer is 9. We write it here. Now the 10th side, 6 minus 3, 6 take away 3. Answer is 3. We write it here. 73 minus 34 equals 39. The next question here, here is 53 minus 18. We write the units and the tens on the top and start working on the unit side. We have three units, but we have to take away eight, which is not possible, so we borrow. This ten, the ten side five becomes four. The one is being borrowed here. We put it on this side. We have 13 minus eight. 13 minus eight, you can count back or you might know already the answer is five. So you write five over here. In the tenth side, we have four tens, take away one, answer is three. Sometimes what happens is that by mistake, instead of doing borrowing, you will do eight minus three. But always think, you have three, you have to take away eight, that's not possible, so you need to borrow.